friend, Roger Christofferson here again with another first listener review. Uh, just got done checking out the new album by the band Icons of Sin. This is their uh, album called Legends. It's their second album overall. And um, kind of a newer band. Um, they didn't really become a band until back in 2020. Uh, their claim to fame is their singer Ralph Mendez, who... Uh, I don't know the whole story exactly. I haven't really watched any of the videos, but he was did something on YouTube, and he sounds a lot like Bruce Dickinson. That was like his thing, and uh, <clears throat> it was kind of a series called "What If Bruce Dickinson Sang in Other Bands," and he did a bunch of songs like by other bands, but kind of singing them as Bruce Ding- Dickinson would have sung them. So <clears throat> I never watched any of that. Don't really know the whole backstory there, but that was kind of like. You know, the internet does a lot of that stuff nowadays. YouTube is good at launching people and that stuff, so we find cool singers from that. So be it. That's as long as the music is good, I guess. <clears throat> Which in this case, it is. Um, I guess the, he got together with, uh, well, the guy from Landfall, uh, the guitar player from Landfall, is in this band, Marcelo Galbic. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that anywhere close to being right. Um, and uh, they put together quite a few uh, really cool songs. Um, yes, he still does sound very similar to uh, Bruce Dickinson. Uh, he does have his own unique style on a lot of the, the songs and stuff. Um, and this is not a bust on Bruce Dickinson, but he, um, Ralph stays on key like a lot, you know, whereas that's kind of Bruce Dickinson's style as he gets a little bit off pitch, but somehow that's like his style and it actually works really well for him. <clears throat> now, Ralph, he, um, he sings a lot fuller in some, uh, you know, like a really strong, full-sounding voice, whereas Bruce gets a little bit thin on his high end. <clears throat> Ralph does a little bit too, but he still, to my, in, to my ears, sounds a little bit fuller. And one of the, the ones that really comes to mind is Bare Knuckle. He doesn't really sound like Bruce too much on that song at, at all. Um, you know, you can't really help too much how you sound, although you can kind of like direct your voice in certain ways <clears throat> to give it your own unique style and stuff like that too which I think on this album he does more so than on the first one I really don't remember a whole lot about that first one um, I remember the, thought it was a cool album but I really haven't gone back to listen to that one too much now this one musically has a it doesn't sound like Iron Maiden to me at any way this does, has, it does have a uh, late 80s early 90s metal type sound like bands like you know priest saxon dio that ish that type of style although it's more modern um sounding i mean guitar players nowadays they don't play a lot like that at least to my ears they don't play the same way um guy guitar players from the late 80s and early 90s did they just have their own um way of uh, it's more clean more uh I don't even know how to say it. A lot more processing. The production obviously has a lot to do with it too, but it just, it just sounds a little different. I guess the best way to decide for yourself is to give it a listen, and this is worth a listen if you like that style of music. I think you're going to enjoy this. They have, they don't <clears throat> fall into that category of sounding like every other band out there. They actually have a cool sound, even though how he became popular is by sounding like somebody else. I think they've kind of gotten away from that on this one. So, anyway, fairly short uh, review, because uh, um, <laughs> I'm actually in a hurry to listen to it again. I actually really like this one. I, I listened to it about uh, three times so far, actually. So, I mean, I'm really enjoying this one. It's not like I'm, uh, you know, just blowing past this one really quick. It actually was a really cool album, but um, not a whole lot more to say about that one so if any of you guys actually have any opinions or anything you want to add to this as always feel free and uh i will talk to you guys on the next one we'll see you